What is up guys, I'm Ryan and in this video we're going to go over the basics of limits, okay? Um, the HLs, make sure you follow, you watch the advanced limits video because there's a lot more about limits you need to know and um, this is just the very basics and it's just basically for the SLs, okay? So let's start off with what is a limit, okay? Limit in plain old English is just when x approach a certain number, approach a certain number, okay? What does y approach okay this is the idea of limit okay this is what limit is basically means so the limit notation is how when do you usually see how do you see limits okay how is it usually presented well limits is like this and then we have a box here that we have to fill in with an arrow fill in here and then brackets fill in something here okay what do you call this what do you call this what do you call this don't have to care you just need to know something you have to fill in here something you have to fill in here something you have to fill in here okay very simple so let me give you an example. Let's pretend we have f f x. We have a function f x equals x squared, right? The question could be like, oh, when x approaches one, what does y approach? Okay. So how do you solve this? Is we have to use limits, right? So we would do l i m like this, and then this here will be x, and then this will be one. Okay. So now, how do I know this is one? I know, I, uh, sorry, how do I know this is x, okay? I know this is x because this is x here, okay? So this goes into here. Maybe I put an arrow like this, like this. And then how do I know this here is 1? Because this one here is 1. So I literally just here copy number here, okay? And then what I put into the brackets? I put the brackets, this number, this here, okay? Like this. Okay, easy. No brain needed. Literally just copy and paste the numbers, okay? No brain needed. And then what's next? Next is What's next is whenever you see x inside the brackets, you fill it in with a number 1, okay? How do I know it's x? Because so this is x, right? This first letter, this first letter here tells us to what to look for in the brackets. This tells us what for, to look for. Okay? So I'm looking for x in the brackets. So I see an x in the brackets here. So what I do, I replace this x with the number 1, okay? So what does that mean? I'll have 1 squared, right? So the answer is just simply 1. So when we know that for x squared, when x approaches 1, we get to 1, okay? Now, let's say a more complicated question. So let's say we have f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 1, okay? Again, when x approaches, let's say number two what does y approach okay so what is y approach very simple just no brain needed the first step right just copy down all the numbers first no brain needed copy down everything you need to do x goes here this goes here this goes here no brain okay and then what's next look at here what to look for? X, okay, I found my X, and then what do I sub it with? Sub it with 2, okay? So, 2, 2 squared plus 1, which is 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 8 plus 1 is 9. Answer is 9, okay? Just like that. Very easy, okay? Now, even harder question, okay? So, let's say we have f of X is equals to 1 plus E negative X, and we have G of X is equals to 2x plus b, okay? Now, I want to find the limit of x to the power of positive infinity of f oh, of g of f of x is equals to negative 3. So, right now is we know when x approaches infinity, we know that when x approaches infinity, we'll get to negative 3, right? Okay? We know we're going to get to negative 3. But the question is asking you to find b, okay? So we know the limit is negative 3. How do you do this? First is, we obviously have to figure what this out, right? Figure this out. So we need to figure out this chunk. So we know that g of f of x is equals to put f into g. Put f into g. So we have this. Okay? Simplified is 2 plus 2e negative x plus b. Okay? So now we have to put the blue stuff back into the 
chunk here, right? So then we have limit x, oops, x goes to infinity, open bracket, 2 plus 2 e negative x plus b equals negative 3, right? Okay, just copying, again, no brain in this step. Brain is only needed for this step because there's expansion, right? And composite function, hope you guys already know that. Now, what's next? Very simple. Look at this letter here. This letter is x, okay? So that is the letter I'm looking for in the brackets, right? Okay, I have b here, not the number, I'm not the letter I'm looking for. E here, not the letter I'm looking for. I have x here. X is the letter I'm looking for. And what do I replace this x with? I replace this x with this number here, which is infinity, okay? So we'll have 2 plus 2e negative infinity plus b equals negative 3, right? Now, how do you look for b? Well, have to use some brain here. We know this here is basically 0. Why is this basically 0? Because according to exponent rules, we have a negative here, right? What does exponent rule tell us? When we have negative, we can rewrite it as 1 over e to the power of negative infinity, right? So this yellow thing can be written as 2, 1 over e to the power of positive infinity. Now, we know that the bottom here is a very big number, right? If the bottom is very big, that means this entire fraction is very, very small. Very, very small as in very close to 0. And we can pretend it's basically 0, right? 2 times 0 is 0, so we can basically ignore this, okay? We can pretend it's gone because it's very close to 0. Now, if it's very close to 0, it's just 2 plus b is equal to negative 3, so meaning b is equal to negative 5. So this is your answer. Done. Okay? So for homework or for practice, I'll give you a few more questions you can practice by yourself. Let's say f of x is equal to uh, x plus 5, and I want to find the limits of, uh, let's say, when x approaches 2, what is y? y equals what? Okay, so this is one question you can do. Very simple. Now, another simple question could be f of x is equals to negative e to the power of x like this and I want to say that if x approaches 5 what is y approaching okay one last one let's say ff is equals to uh, log 3x okay and I want as x approaches 7 right what does y equals to okay so here are three questions you can practice and you put your questions, and if you have any questions, you can put it in the comments below. And your answers, feel free to put it in the comments below as well. And uh, I'll have the answers for you in the description below. Alright, good luck, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.